National Nutrition Natural Health Reviews. Three minutes of the latest naturopathic info with Canada's leading nutrition experts. Watch, learn, and get healthy naturally. Hi, I'm naturopathic Dr. Jonathan Beatty, a health expert here at nationalnutrition.ca. Today we're going to discuss a topic that many people find embarrassing. They often don't necessarily want to talk about it with their doctors, but it can be a very uncomfortable concern to have. And this we're going to talk about our hemorrhoids. Um, hemorrhoids are essentially like a varicose vein that occur in the veins around the rectum. Uh, essentially what happens is the vein loses its elasticity and basically they blow up like little balloons full of blood. Now they can lead to pain, it can be burning, it can be itching, there's a variety of sensations that can happen and it can go from mild annoyance to full-blown debilitating depending on the severity of the hemorrhoid. Um, hemorrhoids can be internal where you might not necessarily be able to see them or they can be what we call an external or protruding hemorrhoid where they can actually protrude out and uh, sometimes in severe cases almost look like you know a bunch of grapes hanging it's, it's a very uncomfortable uh, problem to have um, but it is manageable now typically uh, most doctors will approach this with surgical intervention the one thing is once you've had a hemorrhoid you tend to be very prone to redeveloping them or, or having a recurring hemorrhoid even with surgery if you don't make the changes to your lifestyle that led to the development of a hemorrhoid in the first place now Hemorrhoids can come from a variety of reasons. Uh, they do often get associated with things like pregnancy or constipation. And the reason behind that is because of an increase in the pressure in the lower abdomen. And that can change blood flow in the area that then results in the development of a hemorrhoid. So things that you can do to help reduce your risk of developing them, or if you've developed them and you've had them treated and you don't want them to come back, what you wanna do is make sure you uh, intake a lot of fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables have those nutrients that help maintain the elasticity of the arteries and of the veins, and that can help reduce uh, the level of hemorrhoid development. Now, if you do have them, there are a few topical treatments that you could uh, look into. Aloe vera uh, can work really well. It's a topical anti-inflammatory, so it can just help manage the symptoms of burning and pain. Uh, you can also look at using something called witch hazel, which is an astringent, and essentially what it does is when you apply it to the hemorrhoid, it causes the vein to tighten up, and that helps to reduce the size of the hemorrhoid and tighten up the tissue over time. Now, in addition to topical treatments, you'll also want to look at internal treatments to improve the elasticity of the veins. Collagen is very important because that's actually what drives the elasticity of veins in the first place. So ensuring adequate collagen intake, usually by taking a collagen supplement, would be very helpful. And then you can take a herb called horse chestnut, uh, which is a very good herb for improving the strength and elasticity of veins and has been shown to help reduce symptoms of hemorrhoids. So if you do suffer from them, there is hope. There are ways you can manage them. There are ways you can help prevent them. So I hope you've really liked this video today. If you do have questions or comments about it, please post them below. Remember, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel. And last but not least, knowledge is health.